Glad friends, how are you all doing? How are you doing? Yeah, finally today I'm going to show you how I make my shabati because I've promised you I will show you. But before I do that, look down here. Look at what I'll be using. These are my ingredients. But let me give you briefly explanation because during my trial and error, I realized that anything you are making with dough because some people will give you. Uh, their own estimation what they use and you are going to try it and you are going to get error I mean total failure it's not that what those people give to you is wrong but what you don't understand that flour have its own logic it, you have to understand the flour you are using before you can get that perfect result and there is three things that I noticed from making dough the first thing about dough is the type of flours that you'll be using because we have three types of flour for baking or making doughs so it's been number number one number two number three and the first one is multi-purpose which is very common and the second one is uh, a, a little a mixture of wheat and white that multi-purpose it's become atta it's atta flour and the third one is all wheat which is pure or wheat which is very good for the oldies yes and or people who is trying to cut down their calorie when they are losing want to lose weight so far so that is the three type of flour we have so that is the first one know the type of flour you'll be using and the second one is the weather the season you have whether you are in summer or winter it has to do with flour so that it tells the third one which is the temperature the room temperature the weather determines so that is the reason a lot of people have failure when making dough yeah so today let me explain my ingredients to you now so i believe you understand what i mean here with me guys look at it yeah this is uh ghee and in Omar they call it semen which is transfer oil I bring this out so that you can see look at it this is where I take it from so I already put it inside this because it's shabati need a lot of oil see this is natural one and look at me I have two different type of flour here if you can see this one it's much whiter than this one this is number one and this is number two this is multi-purpose and this is after that i told you why am i using this i have an old person here but i still want the uh the dough to be succulent so and not too white if you don't want your shabati not too white if you mix mix these two flour together oh my goodness it will give you something different and you know and unique and here with me this is my powder milk and here salt and i have water that i'll be using and i have this cup for measurement and the last one is fresh yogurt yeah this is cod some people call it cod so i'll be using it to make my dough why am i using this fresh cod is because it will make it more succulent yeah and some people add sugar but i'm not going to add sugar by adding all these things it will give that natural flavor because every food i used to prepare have to be a natural taste because i'm preparing food for adults and people who are mostly likely on food diets so if you are on diet this is best recipe for you to try this chapati so let's make our dough right now
这一次我真的是。Guys, in this video, I had one cup of water to make my dough. But should in case you had a cup of water or more than that in your dough, it depends on the qual quantity you are making. And you notice that it's kind of a little bit sticky. Just add little powder make in the water and mix it. Together with your your batting. Now, people say, why am I adding powder milk again to it? It's just that to retain the same texture you want your shabati to be. So that is why you can just add water, but you won't really like the feeling uh, when you are making the dough because I'm talking from my own experience and I have a best result after using milk or adding powder milk into the water and uh, continue molding. That my flour. Look at it. Look at it, it's already soaked. So, some people will just smell your one cup of water. Don't do that. Just try to go with the texture of the fly. If you can see it, the fly is already soaked. So, it doesn't need a lot of water. So, I'm making three cups of flour of shabati. So, you can see this cup is not full. I have my reason. I have to go with that because I know the fly is already good. So I may add one full cup and the water will be too much for the dough. And once the water is too much, it also suffer the person making it when you are trying to roll it or when it has to cooperate together, but it will cooperate very fast. guys as you can see my dough is ready look at it look at where i press it's already coming up itself it means the dough is ready if you can see it's coming back so i will have to keep this dough for just 30 minutes so that it can rest before i start making the shabati so i think this is the most Important process of shabati. Look at it. The dough is ready, so grease it. You can use oil. It doesn't have to be this one. This in the transfer oil. You can make use of your cooking oil, but it's common to arrive people to have this. So how we using this one? So let's wait for 30 minutes later before we can finish our shabbat right now i'm cutting the dough into smaller bros which you can just make it bigger or just go with whatever size you want your shabbati to be and also i point my finger to check if the dough is succulent the way i wanted and clean the surface for the shabbati and get straight into making it Sprinkle some flour on your work surface and also uh, roll out your dough and if you want it to be thin or you want it thick, it depends. So that will depend how you will roll it. If you don't want it to be too thick, you just have to ensure that you roll it properly and uh, you understand that uh, when you carry the shabati your, or your dough, it will be lighter in weight. Then grease your grill pan. When the grilled pan is hot and put the rollout dough on it and you can see it's coming up and before I turn it over I ensure that I put some uh, transfer oil at the edges of the shabati that will make it not to be too dry because someone asked me that uh, whenever she make a shabati the following day or after five minutes or when she's through with the shabati it's a little bit dry like cracky but to avoid being cracky and dry harder oil or any transfer oil at the edges all around the shabati it will retain the same and succulent as you can see i'm cooking the other side dal which we are going to use to have this dinner because this shabbat is going for dinner and you can have it any time of the day just depend on how you can 
give yourself a time to prepare shabati okay guys so we're almost done so you'll be repeating the same processing all through that the dough you prepare will be finished can you see this bubbling look yeah so when it's bubbling and also it depends if you want it to be too brown you have to keep it so long if you look at it i have the one that's too brown and i have the one not too brown so thank you so much for watching to the end and see you in my next video can you see the serving and the combination of the dal with uh shabati that is major and popular with that the arabic or let's say omani om enjoy having shabati and uh, god bless you as